What's up guys, Jason Wardrop here, and in today's video, I wanna give you a quick Facebook ads tutorial. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to set up your Facebook pixel. In 2018, if you're a complete beginner and have no idea what the Facebook pixel is, we're gonna cover what it is and how to set it up and how to go through and access it inside of your Facebook ads manager. All right guys, so before we jump onto my computer and I show you exactly how to set it up and how it's used and all that stuff, I wanna just quickly explain what a Facebook pixel is, all right? So a Facebook pixel is basically Facebook's way of tracking everyone who visits your website, your landing pages, people that become leads, people that purchase items on your, your website. It's just their way of tracking all the people that are on Facebook, right? So there's one Facebook pixel per Facebook ads account. So the pixel, the reason why that has that name is because way back in the day, what they used to do to be able to go track people that visit different websites is they'd make a small, small image that was one pixel by one pixel and they'd throw it on the website, all right? And then every, it was so small that you couldn't even see it but every time somebody went and loaded that image, that one pixel by one pixel image, they would know that that person visited that website and so the pixel would fire, so it would track that person and they would know that somebody had visited that website. Now it's not an image anymore, but the name's kind of carried on just over time and it's still used as pixel, so that is the Facebook pixel. It's just basically Facebook's way of tracking everyone, right? So with that said, let's jump onto my computer. I wanna show you guys exactly where to go inside your ads manager to access it, how to create it if you guys are brand new, and then how to go through and use it with your different websites and landing pages. All right guys, so here we are. I just created a brand new ads account to show you guys exactly how this works. So to access the pixels, what we're gonna do is come up here to the ads manager, this little hamburger menu. You can come down here, it's got some frequently used base tools right here where we go to all tools and we can find it under measure and report and we just come down here to pixels, right? Now another way to easily access it is just if you're from anywhere inside of Facebook Ads Manager, you can search your business right here and just type in pixels right there, right? So we're gonna type in pixels and this is gonna pull up a page where it's gonna say, hey, create a Facebook pixel. Now this is a brand new Facebook Ads account and just a quick reminder, you only create one Facebook pixel per ads account, right? You're gonna use that same pixel, that same little HTML copy and paste code, which I'll show you guys here in a second, on all of your websites, your landing pages, everywhere that you're gonna use your Facebook pixel, right? So what we're gonna do is click on create a pixel right here, and you're gonna see this pops up, and it's just gonna walk you through step by step. It's very easy. So we can say test account pixels name. You can go give it your own name if you want. And we're just gonna hit create right here. All right, so it's gonna take a, a second or two. All right, so now that we're at this point, it's gonna say use an integration or tag manager, manually install the code yourself or email instructions to a developer, right? Now, if you guys have a developer that's perfect, um, you can go send this on to your developer, but they've really made it super simple and easy that you can go through and use this on a lot of the websites, landing page builders and all that stuff that are in use today, all right? So what I'm gonna do is click on manually install the code yourself. And what we're gonna do is scroll down. I usually skip this number one and I go to number two. Okay, so copy the entire pixel code and paste it into the website header. All right, now this works if you're using WordPress, lead pages, click funnels, um, so like whatever you're using, this is gonna go through and work for your business, all right? So this right here, you just hover over and you can see copy code, copy code to clipboard. Okay, now, just so you know, I have no idea what any of this code means, and I'm sure you don't either, but all you gotta do is just go here and click on this. It says copy to clipboard, and so you just copy that, and now you go paste it into your website builder, or your landing page builder, your funnel builder, whatever you're using. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna show you a couple of quick examples here. Um, this is very commonly used click funnel, so I just wanna show you guys where to go through and put the Facebook pixel on your um, your funnels here. So there's two places to do it. You can either do it each page individually in your funnel by going in here to edit page, and then once you get into the website builder here, you come up to settings, and then you could go to tracking codes, and then you can see right here, if we go back here, it says paste the pixel code at the bottom of the header section, just above the head tag. Okay, so if you come over here, this is the header code, you just copy and paste this right in there. Okay, that's all we gotta do, and then we just hit save, we come out here, hit save, and we are good to go. Or the other way, if we wanna just have it go throughout all of the pages of the funnels in just one spot, we're just gonna come over here to settings, and then we're gonna to go to the head tracking code right here. We can even make this bigger right here, and we can just paste that in right there. Okay, so now we just come down to the bottom, we just hit save and update settings, and this is great because obviously this one right here, you can see it just has this one page, 
But if you got multiple steps in a funnel, if you got like five or ten different steps, you can have you could just go paste it that one time in this setting section. And that same Facebook pixel code is going to be used throughout all those different pages. All right, so I want to show you guys really quick one other use case. This is inside of the Arsenal MKG software, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with as well. If we just come in here to the landing page builder, we just click on edit, and then we will come over to there's a spot where we can go paste this code as well. So what we're going to do is just come over here to the page section. We're going to go scroll down to advanced, and then you can see right here I've already got a Facebook pixel code in there. But I could just go through and paste this new one in there or I could go through if you want to have two in there Which I don't recommend having two Facebook pixels and that's you have two Facebook pixels if you're using multiple ads accounts Right, so like I said, there's only one Facebook pixel per ads account I highly recommend just using one ads account just to keep everything together and the nice thing is is Facebook will use your pixel to go through and learn and get the data that it needs to to make your ads perform even better all right, so if you're going through and you're trying to generate leads and you're saying hey This is the pixel I'm using they'll use the information from that pixel all the data that's come through and they'll go find more people That are like the people that have already become leads all right or if you're going for sales They'll go through and use your pixel data to go through and find more people that are relevant and just like those people that have already become sales all right so we go over here you just you paste it in the header tracking code area and then right there here on this one you also have to do it on the thanks page So we just click thanks the page section and then this header spot right here as I showed you guys before was already in there We just hit we paste it in there, and then we hit publish and we are set and we are good to go Okay, so now jumping back over here to the Facebook Ads manager just a couple of different use cases I want to show you guys as we're going through and using this Facebook pixel code So we can do a lot of things now with this But I want to show you guys two different things the first one is going through and creating custom audiences so what that means is that we can have Facebook anyone that hits a specific page that the pixel is on of our website or our landing pages or funnel whatever it is we can say hey I want you to make a custom audience of everyone who visits my main website or my blog or um, that becomes a lead through this funnel or purchases this product so in order to do that what we're gonna do is come back over here to the search spot right here we're just gonna type type in audiences okay so when we type in audiences it's gonna pull up an audience page and we can go through and say hey We want to create a custom audience Okay, now the cool thing in here is you can go through and this is not necessarily using the Facebook pixel But you can upload a customer file So like let's say you've got tons of people's emails phone numbers addresses Whatever you can upload that into Facebook and create that custom audience which we'll go through and we'll hit that in another YouTube video um, but what we're gonna do with the Facebook pixel is create one with website traffic Okay, so we're gonna click website traffic and the cool thing is is when you have the same pixel on all of your sites You can say hey, I want to create an audience For all my website visitors anybody who hits a page that has my pixel installed on it I want to go through and create that audience so we can come in here and we can say we can max it out even I think it's 180 days so you can see that it goes back to 180 days So it's the last six months so anyone who has hit my website in the last six months, all right? So we can say all website visitors. So we'll come through and we'll create this audience. And you guys can see right here it says all website visitors. It says populating. Obviously, this is a brand new ads account. This is a brand new pixel. So it's probably going to be a, a little bit too small. But typically, it's going to take about a couple hours, even maybe 24 hours to go through and fully populate. All right. But that doesn't mean you can't go through and start creating ads and start using this custom audience. Okay. So this is one of those types of custom audiences that you can use. Or you could go through and say create an audience a custom audience and Then say hey, I want to do only people who visited specific web pages on my website Right, so it could be like hey only people that visit this blog article or people that visited this page like my pricing page on my website or um, You know a specific page in your funnel all right So this is the page right here inside of click funnels that I went through and I put the pixel on so we want to say hey I just want to create an audience with people that visit this page We're just gonna come over here and click on this and we'll just grab this URL right here Okay, then we'll come back in to the um, where was it? We'll come back in here, and so we'll we'll just click right here 
we'll paste the URL right in there and we can say the last 30 days 60 days 90 days whatever and this is kind of cool because you can really dive in deep with your retargeting so if you say hey I only want to retarget to people that have seen this page in the last seven days you can go through and do that so like let's say we only want to retarget people who have recently seen one of our landing pages or our, our blog post right here okay so we can come in here and see say the audience name is blog post test demo page all right so now we're gonna go through create this audience and this is everyone who's visited this page right here within the last seven days we can just go through create this audience and this is gonna go through and um, create that audience that we can now use in our ads as well and this is a very custom audience which is great for retargeting which with retargeting ads which I'll shoot a video on that in another another day um, you can get your cost per lead down dramatically I'm seeing about 20 25 percent cost per leads compared to what I'm getting with cold traffic All right so one last cool thing I want to show you guys that we can do now with these audiences now we've got the Facebook pixel set up we've created the audiences and now what we can do is go through and create what we call look-alike audiences so a look-alike audience is kind of exactly what we <laughs> is just said right there right it's someone it's an audience of people that look just like or they're very similar their profiles are very similar to people of an audience that you've already created all right so what's cool is you can say you can go through and you can create a custom audience of everyone on your order confirmation page so like everyone that's purchased a certain product of yours you could say hey I want to create a look-alike audience so people that are alike the people that already purchased my product okay and if Facebook will go out and they'll go scan all the profiles of everyone that has a Facebook account and they'll say okay these are the people that look most like people that have already purchased your product all right their their occupation their uh, maybe marital status maybe their income maybe their search behaviors or their online purchase behaviors and they'll go through and they'll match that so now you can go show your ads to people that are more matching your demographic all right so in order to do that what we're gonna do is come over here to create audience and we're just gonna come down instead of custom audience we're gonna choose a look alike audience okay so now we can choose a source and we can go through we can say hey all website visitors the one we just created or we can say there's a lot of the different pages that I've already got on my account associated with that so let's just say or we got the blog post test demo page so let's do hey we want to create a look like audience of everyone who is like people that have visited this blog post page so let's we'll click on this we can say a location and I'll typically start out by doing just the United States and then we can go through and say hey we want them to be within like 1% variance of that that group okay or 2% or 3% 4% 5% and so about a 1% look-alike audience is gonna get you an audience of about 2 million people you can see right here it says estimated reach of 2.1 million people all right and typically that's all you really need to go through and do and start out with and you can go through and scale your ad campaigns dramatically with just 1% look like audiences right then you can break it down in the future and go hey I want a 1% this is 0 to 1% 1 to 2% or 2 to 3% or this is hey this is everyone in the 3% range so as you go through and change these up you can see how these audiences grow and obviously the profiles of those people are not as similar to those people that became leads or that purchased your product already but it just helps you go and find a wider more broad audience okay another thing you could do right here is come down here to show advanced options and you can actually create multiple audiences at the same time so you can go through and create a 1% 2% and 5% audience all at the same time all right now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stay with the 1% right here we're gonna come down and click create audience so it's gonna create the audience and then once again it's gonna say updating audience it's gonna populate that and go through and so we're ready to go through and use that all right guys so that is it that is how you go through and set up the pixel that's how you go through and set the the custom audiences up and then it, to get back to the pixels like we said all you do is go through and type in the search business the pixels right here okay and you just come in here and they're always changing what it looks like right so they're always changing the, the the user interface so if it doesn't look exactly like this play around with it a little bit try to find that exact little copy and paste code that we use but then now that we're back in here we can see the test account pixel right here we just hit set up pixel and then we just come back here and it's, we're right back to where we start right manually install the code yourself come down here to number two copy the entire pixel code and paste in the website header click that now we go and copy it into ClickFunnels, lead pages arsenal wordpress 
Wix, wherever you want to go through and use it. All right, so guys, if you guys found this video helpful, go ahead and like this video. If you guys want something more that you're, you're unsure of still on the pixel, if you have a question, make sure you guys leave it down in the comment section and I will be able to make sure that I answer your questions about the Facebook pixel, especially here in 2018 because Facebook is always updating the Facebook pixel and its use and how you can go through and use it for your business. So make sure that you go through, leave a comment, like this video if you guys found it helpful, and be sure to subscribe to the channel where I launch a new video every single day showing you how to grow your business, generate more leads, and make more money. All right, guys, so thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys on the channel tomorrow.